Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me once again, and thank you for making it all the way through the contest with me. We're on the very last question of the 2005 Pascal paper. So pause the video and try it if you haven't. Uh, please, please, please do that. It's the best way to practice. And then you can come back and watch and see how I did it. You can compare techniques. Maybe you did it better. Who knows? Let's take a look. Question 25. I'll assume you've paused and done all that fun stuff. And now you're back watching it. In the diagram, right angle triangles AED and BFC are constructed inside rectangle, uh, rectangle ABCD so that F lies on DE. Okay. Uh, if AE is 21, ED is 72, so we know two of the legs of that triangle. BF is 45. What is the length of AB? So I could probably get AD. And that would be the same as BC. Just because um, AEED, they, they give me... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write some of this down. So let's draw our picture. So two legs of a right angle triangle. We can definitely solve for the hypotenuse right away. Is this going to be a big enough picture? I don't know. We'll find out. At some point, F. And F's got to be the key. Because if these guys weren't touching, it, this, so, so, so the way I'm imagining it is, uh, so we can get any old rectangle with uh, this side length here, whatever it is that we're about to work out. So A, B, C, D, here's E. But as we shrink the A, B, eventually these two will touch. So the, the, oh, I've got it the wrong way, haven't I? So the AB is, is very reliant on the fact that F lies on here. I just, I don't quite know yet how to use that. But I do know, let's get out our, our colors. We've got 21 here, 72 for this whole thing. 45 here, and that's about it, and we've got some right angles. And we have more right angles with the rectangle, but let's not add them in until we actually need to do something with them. So by Pythagoras, AD squared is AE squared plus ED squared. 21 squared plus 72 squared is not a square I can easily do in my 441, and I don't know what 72 squared is off the top of my head. Five one eight four, and add on four four one to that, and we get oh goody uh, five thousand six two five, which is so the twenty five at the end makes me think we've got a five. I'm assuming this is an integer, and then uh, fifty six is seven times eight, so this should be seventy five squared. All right, so AD is 75, and that means that BC is 75. Okay. Um, oh, well, this guy here, he's uh, 3 times 25, this is 3 times 24, and this is 3 times uh, 7. So I'll just, uh, I'll make a note of that off to the side. This is So it's a 7, 24... 25 triangles is basically what we've got up here. Just scale. Okay. Down at the bottom, uh, the 75 and the, the 45, the, they have a factor of 5 in common. We'll get uh, 5 times 15, 5 times 9. And that's uh, a 12 over here, so 5 times 12 is 60. Should be FC. Okay, just similar to right angle triangles. All right, how are we going to get the height? How are we going to get AB? So I'm focusing on my AB over here. And it doesn't have anything set up right now. So I don't like this sort of inverted Star Trek pin thing. So I don't think I'm going to be able to work with that. 
Should I extend something and then maybe we'll get a similar, more similar right angle triangles like the ones that I sort of just noticed? Like, should I extend AE and do something? Or should I extend ED? Something like that. Those would both give me right angle triangles that are similar to the, the 5, 24, and 25. And then if I if I get this point here G, I'll get something. I can probably get a G. Then we'd have we'd have X Y. We'd have enough information I think with the seven twenty four twenty five. I think we could get a G. And then what would be left over? We'd get sort of G B C D, which so that'd be something. And then we it's a trapezoid. I guess we could. Using that F, because we haven't used F yet. Using F, uh, what would be that height there? It'd be something, and then... We'd sort of be... I don't know where F is exactly, so I don't... I think I could use this to get sort of area of trapezoid and then work out what this guy is here. Because this B here would be A plus the, the Y from up here. I know I've got 75 here. There's, there's too many variables I'm introducing here, and I don't think I'm appropriately using this F guy. So maybe I don't want to extend and then use F. Maybe I need to use F sort of right at the start, right from the get-go. But it's in such a weird place, I don't know where it is along ED. And... I suppose, just like with the, the trapezoid picture I just drew, I'm going to switch to purple. I could probably work out there. I mean, this is going to be a height here. But then in order to get AB, I need, I need the other bit. And that's, that's got another trapezoid sort of thing over here. And it's, uh, it's a cyclic quadrilateral, I guess, but... What can I, um, similar triangles? So here's what I'm thinking. Let's, let's draw this guy a little bigger. I'm thinking maybe we connect up to F. Or draw, draw uh, the a line parallel to the side through F. Because I, you know, I wouldn't be using E, but then again, E is not a particularly special point. It's F that's what's interesting. 21, we got 45 here and 60. And that would certainly fit with the theme that these guys are, are similar triangles here. 75. And then if I drop a height here, I get this purple triangle, which is similar to AED. And then we can get, well, either one of these will work, but let's let's say this one. This orange triangle here, or would it be better to use this one over here, because then we'd have the same length. Yeah. So we won't use that orange triangle, we'll use the other one. Assuming that we can. But this is going to be similar to, so this guy here, he's ultimately similar to a 3-4-5 triangle. So this would be a 3-4-5 as well. 60 is the 5, so we get 12. And then this one here would be the uh, 4. And so we get 36 here, and we get 4 times 12 is 48 here. So that means this has got to be 48, and he's similar to the uh, 
7, 24, 25, so he's got to be the 24 side, so 2 there, we get 50 here, and 2 times 7, we get 14. Oh, wow, that's that kind of fell into place. 14 plus 36, nice integers, makes me really confident. 50, is 50 one of the answers? I thought they were all, no, 50 is the very first answer. Okay. So how did that one go exactly? Well, I got the 75, and that's, those numbers kind of annoyed and baffled me. And the 75 down here with the 45 sort of makes a multiples of 5 connection. Then you realize we got some similar triangles. You got to use F some way, and then I guess drawing the line straight through F, you hopefully realize you got some similar triangles. Probably would have worked out just uh, just okay if I had. A, what if what if I had used the other? What if I'd used this one down here? I probably so this uh, so 45 would have been the five, 36 would have been so it'd be five times nine. So 36 is four times nine. We would have got three times nine, 27 down here. 27 would have come up here, and then 75 minus 27 is 48, and we, we would have gotten that. So, okay, so it would have worked out all, all fine in the end anyway. All right, I like that one. It flowed, uh, in my opinion, flowed a little better than question 24, which in my experience is uh, sort of how these contests tend to go. I find that 25, if you can get the solution to 25, it flows quite nicely, and it's rather elegant. This one, mostly similar triangles. Uh, but I find that question 24, uh, and not just on the Pascal Kalian formats as well, uh, are included in this. Question 24 is difficult, but difficult in sort of a, I need to pick up a hammer and bash this, not I just unscrew one screw and it all falls apart. And I, I find this happens with the Euclids as well. Question 10, if you can get it, quick, elegant sort of thing. Question 9 is obvious, is, is oftentimes for me sort of, I have to bash it. Question 9, oftentimes for me, I'll also find 8 and 9 are weird geometry things that I just sort of have to pick up a hammer and smash them to bits. So, yeah, this one, I think the video will be done faster than the 24 one with those powers of primes, but, yeah, I like 25. I like the contest in general. Uh, I like most of these. Uh, what did you guys think of it? Uh, let me know if you want to in the comments below. Feel free to like or subscribe, with me, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, more contests coming up, I guess... We just did the Pascal, grade 9, so Friar, the written the grade 9, and then uh, Kaylee, which will be the next uh, next level up for the multiple choices, will be after that, and, and so on. So more 2005 contests incoming. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.